Welcome to HSE Nation. Have you ever wondered what it takes to start a fire? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll break down the essentials of fire creation, known as the fire triangle. The fire triangle is a simple model for understanding the necessary ingredients for fire. The three components are heat, fuel, and oxygen. Let's explore each one in detail. First up, we have heat. Without heat, a fire simply can't start or continue to burn. Heat is the energy needed to increase the temperature of the fuel to its ignition point. This can come from a variety of sources, a spark from a match, friction from rubbing sticks together, or even the sun's rays focused through a magnifying glass. Think about it. When you strike a match, you're generating heat through friction, enough to ignite the matchstick. Cool, right? Next, let's talk about fuel. Fuel is any material that can combust. This could be wood, paper, gasoline, or even certain metals. The fuel is what the fire consumes to keep burning. In nature, dry leaves, twigs, and branches are common fuels. In a fireplace, we use logs. Without fuel, the fire has nothing to burn and will go out. Notice how a well-built campfire uses small twigs and leaves to get started, then adds larger logs to keep the fire going. Each type of fuel plays a crucial role in sustaining the fire. Last but certainly not least, we have oxygen. Oxygen is the chemical element that reacts with the fuel in the presence of heat to produce combustion. In other words, without oxygen, a fire cannot breathe. This is why when you blow on a fire, you can make it burn more fiercely as you're supplying more oxygen to the flames. This is also why smothering a fire with a blanket or using a fire extinguisher can put it out. You're cutting off its oxygen supply. So there you have it, the fire triangle, heat, fuel, and oxygen. Three simple elements that when combined correctly, can create a powerful and mesmerizing force of nature. Understanding this triangle not only helps us create fire when we need it, but also teaches us how to control and extinguish it when necessary. By removing any one of the elements of a fire triangle, the fire can be extinguished. Let's explore each one in detail with an example. Removing heat, cooling with water. Applying water is a common method, especially for solid combustibles like wood. Water absorbs heat and reduces the temperature below the ignition point, stopping the fire. Removing fuel. Clearing combustible materials. Removing or isolating the fuel source, such as cutting down nearby vegetation in the case of wildfires, prevents the fire from spreading. Fuel control systems. In industrial settings, shutting off gas supplies or moving flammable materials away from the fire's path. Removing oxygen. Fire blankets. Covering a fire with a fire blanket cuts off the oxygen supply, suffocating the fire. Fire extinguishers. Certain extinguishers, like CO2, displace oxygen around the fire, effectively smothering it. Understanding the fire triangle helps in selecting the appropriate method to extinguish different types of fires effectively. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you never miss out on our blazing new content. And remember, always respect fire and handle it responsibly. Thanks for watching and stay safe.